Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are back at Tweetsie Railroad. Today we're doing something a little bit different though. For the first time ever for us, we are here for the ghost train experience. We're super excited to take you guys along with us and show you anything and everything that this event has to offer. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. Tonight we are back at Tweetsie Railroad to experience the classic Halloween event, Tweetsie's Ghost Train. This event will take place on Friday and Saturday nights in September and October and will run through October 28th. Tonight Tweetsie will present the Ghost Train, the Spooktacular Show, the Haunted House, the Freaky Forest, and many more classic attractions. So let's head inside to start the night. Alright, so we're here at the entrance and they've got a sign here saying if you've got your tickets already, you can proceed to the left side gate. You can see over there with all the people lined up. But if you've ordered them and you need to go wheel call, you'll go right in here like you do on a normal day when they're open. So while we're waiting for it to open, they do have a little MC guy up there. All right, so it does open at 730. As you can see, it's a really long line getting in, but it's moving quickly. So if you want to be first in here, you need to get here early. All right, so we just got in and we happened to run right into someone giving out candy. They actually gave us a bag and put some candy in it. So I guess as you go throughout here, it looks like it's sort of trick or treat because there are quite a few people here that are dressed up. So that's pretty cool. And they handed us a map as soon as we came in, which is really great to explain and show us where all the new things are. And it does have the age restrictions. Oh, okay. Suggestions. So they do have suggestions. That's really helpful too. And we're waiting on the train and they're having a little Main Street dance party. They're doing the cha-cha slide right now. That's so fun. <laughs> So we're about to make our way into our seats. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Twenty Railroads Ghost Train. Well, proud. Some sort of hairy animals are running across the tracks. 
I'd better slow down and take a look. No, Casey. I wouldn't slow down if I were you. They're rushing toward the engine. Watch out! Oh, they grabbed one of the firemen. Just lock up for the night, okay? I can handle myself, young man. Passengers, take your seats. Casey Bones, you're right to have in mind. Yes, 
seem to be feeling a little strange. Rushing through my own veins. Maybe. Just maybe. I'll see you again. Soon. <laughs> Alright, I found the map again. This looks a little better since it was dark trying to look at the paper map. But they do have it on a few screens around here. And what I didn't notice earlier was all the trick-or-treat stations are the little jack-o'-lanterns. So they also have a couple stands out here with all these light-up necklaces and merchandise here. All right, now we're going to go explore the boneyard. All right, we've made it to the boneyard, but before we go in, I wanted to know, I'm pretty sure we've seen these exact same skeletons at Scarewind, so it's nice to have some friendly faces. All right, so it looks like the boneyard has multiple attractions. There's three in this area, so we're going to go check them out. So first up is the black hole. Now we're going to check out the warp tunnel. Oh my goodness. This is like that weekend video, that guy. Yeah. All right, now we're going to do the forest. All right, so unfortunately we cannot film in here, but we'll definitely give you guys a review of what we thought about this. So next to the train tracks is the haunted house. All right, so looks like all the stores are open like normal, including the Happy Trails Toy Shop, the U.S. Marshal Tweetsie Jail, the Cowboy Cantina, the Tweetsie Junction Store, and the General Store. And it looks like some of the rides are still running like usual. Yeah, and also in the Junction Store, we did find some of the Tweetsie merchandise that is specific for Ghost Train. They do have some sweatpants. A jacket if you're here on a night that's super chilly this would definitely be helpful and they also have some shirts here let's get a better look at these it looks like they have some writing on the arm and the little logo on the front and on the back has the looks like the train in orange it looks very spooky and they also have some classic universal monsters in here they're playing dracula over here on the tv which is a nice touch so we heard that there is a fan favorite of the main street show and that is when they perform to thriller so we are going to check that out now We're gonna go inside the Tweetsie Palace and see if there's anything in here. And now we're gonna check out the Tweetsie Palace Spooktacular. Also at the palace here, they do have refreshments like they do during the day, so that's really cool. And also in the palace, we're just feeling a little snacky. So got us some nachos and a drink, and Seth got a coffee. Um, I ordered the nachos and the drink after he ordered his coffee. This was about $12. But there are some snacks in here that you can get right before the show.
So I also wanted to note that the fudge works is open. However, the chairlift to Miner's Mountain is not open. If you guys do want to see a POV of the chairlift, you'll have to see our old Tweetsy regular admission video. But we're going to go right up here to the county fair area and check it out. So correction, during the ghost train event, this is called the Creepy Carnival. So let's go check it out. So right over here to my left, the arcade is still open. And right here, there's an arcade cart where it looks like you can get some cotton candy chips and cookies and some drinks if you need them. And also, it looks like the carousel is still running. And right next to the carousel, looks like there is another ride still operating. And then right over here, we have the classic Ferris wheel, which is also running. Oh, and one ride was hiding. Looks like there is another ride here. So it looks like up here at the Creepy Carnival, they just mostly have their regular carnival attractions still running for the Ghost Train event. So we have made it into the general store. Just wanted to let you guys know they do have that same Ghost Train merchandise in here and a little bit more. Looks like, I think that's a blanket if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure. And they also have the little Ghost Train beanie there as well as they have some christmas ornaments and some magnets which are really cool all right guys wanted to wrap up our time here at the ghost train experience at tweetsie this event was a lot more than i thought it was going to mm -hmm. be um i know they really advertise for you know families and some of the stuff is like eight and up for some of the scares but honestly they really had stuff for us to enjoy as yeah. well so it is for families but even if you're coming just as a couple or with your friends it's it's just as fun i um, also really appreciate they have just about just as much to do for this event as they do during the day so True. you know the ticket prices are are much more worth it than you than i yeah. anticipated because they have um, about all the zones open they have the um boneyard which had the freaky forest and a couple other little activities yeah. in it which we did all of those um but we really enjoyed the freaky forest like we went yeah. in there and they had a lot of good jump scares yeah it was um, good so that again is just speaking to that fact of yes it, this is a family event but it got us as well we really enjoyed the haunted houses mm -hmm. and stuff um, they also had some food and stuff open, um, which I appreciated just because yeah. we did get hungry. We've been here a couple of hours, but we went up to the Tweetsie Palace and got um, some nachos and stuff. I think basically the same stuff that's going to be open yeah. during the day. Um, but they, that show was so cute with the black light, very creative. It looked cool. Yeah, it was very creative. So again, it, they have a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Very loud, um, but the train was probably my favorite thing, just like it was when we came for regular sure. admission. Um, they basically take the daytime train experience and turn it into something for the ghost train. Love the werewolf theme; it was super cute. Yep. They did a really good job, like with the um, the, the on-screen videos. It really helped explain yeah. the story and everything. But and the all of that, yeah, the fireworks were good too. That was a big <laughs> that was a big surprise. But everything was really really cute. We will definitely be back to this next yep. year. Um, I'm kicking myself because we haven't been to it before now. As much as we like haunt and Halloween events, True. this is really right up there. It was super cute, it was fun, and there was a lot to do. So we definitely would recommend coming with your friends, your family. Like I said, even if you don't have kids or anybody to bring, yeah. come with your friends. Come come with your, your significant other or just come by yourself. It was super fun. Um, but we want to thank Tweetsie for having us out for this event. It was super fun, like I said. Uh, let us know in the comments if you guys plan on visiting or if you visited opening weekend. Um, but please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Tweetsie content coming soon. So until next time, we, we hope to see you on the next adventure. adventure. Bye.